games. Woo! Let's go. Uh, Hersty Games, and this is how we do. Now it's time hey we there, guys, welcome back to Hersty Games, and welcome back to our QPR career mode season number two. If you missed out on the first season, then make sure you go and check out the playlist and go get caught up because spoilers inbound. But season number two will be in the Premier League with QPR. We did manage to clinch that promotion last kind of little stint of the season things you love to see but we now have a big big job in our hands in the premier league a lot of changes needed a lot of upgrades needed and we're going to get into those today we're going to start talking about that a lot of today's episode is going to be really concentrating on bolstering our squad and improving the team not so much obviously on gameplay we might get to maybe the start of the season but it really does depend on how many emails and stuff come through pre-season we're going to sim uh, i'm not too fussed about playing pre-season but i did mention at the end of last season, there's going to be changes made to this team. Uh, and the long and the short of it is that we need to pick up a few more players. We need another fullback. For the Premier League, two defenders that are like wide defenders less than 70 is not going to cut it for us. Um, another sort of attacking mid, another defensive mid. And just basically bolsters to most of what we've got here. Uh, another strike would be a good option basically to come in and replace Charlie as it will be Charlie's last season with us and obviously Albert Doma. Um, but long and the short of it is we, we need to bolster a few players. So there's a few things I have done and we'll get into those now. So uh, quite a few suggestions from the comments and I really do appreciate those because suggestions are always helpful. Two players specifically that were suggested and also to go and check our free agent pool. I've done both of those things. And we have got some good potential options on our hands here. So the first two players that were suggested were um, Han Noah Masengo, who I think we looked at in the first transfer window. We just didn't have the money for him. But Masengo is a bit of a career mode gem. He is very, very good in career mode and a good little player. He's gone to Sevilla. He's got a, like a release clause of 8 million. So I can't scout him at the moment because I've scouted a bunch of free agent players. But him and Felix Mambimi, both of which suggested in the comments. So thank you to the two people who did suggest them. And he's only got a release clause of 7 million. If we can pick these two up, even if we had to go to their release clauses, that's about 15 million pounds just in release clauses on two potential good sort of rotation or potentially squad players. So I'm not too upset about that. Two very good options. So I really do appreciate those. So once I can get both of these scouted, we will do. However, I have looked at the free agent pool. I've looked at a lot of different players. I'm going to get rid of some of the players that we were looking at previously. Uh, I'm going to get rid of Dominic Iorfa, uh, who we were thinking about. I think I'm going to keep Rondon there for a second. I quite like the look of Jeremy Ngakia. I think he's a decent little player and could potentially be somebody for us to bring in. However, I do need to show you guys something. Um, Rafael Lopez. A free agent, 19-year-old Brazilian centre-back. 84 rated, worth 40 million, and we can pick him up on a free. It's a no-brainer, boys. I think you could sit there and say, oh, you know, it might ruin things a little bit, picking someone. Realistically, it's terrible, terrible scouting if a scout was to see a player this good and not try and get him, and the club doesn't actively try and pick him up. Imagine you were a championship team and you saw Haaland playing absolutely incredible at the age of 18 and you went he's very good but we're not going to go for him you'd kick yourself for not doing it Rafael Lopez I think is a no-brainer boys I, I really really do so we're going to go in for him I think he's going to be perfect for us for us for us sorry can't speak now uh but he just looks very good he's pretty quick for a center back 94 strength he's got 80 stamina as well he can jump he could do it all, boys. So we're going to pick this guy up. We're going to go in for Rafael Lopez. Let's get this contract sorted. Okay, this is what I'm going to go in with initially. They said 33 to 53. I'm going to go in with 40. I'm going to go sort of middle of the, the lane here. Off of 40,000. See what he says. I've added a little bit of a fee as well. And it's worked perfectly. That is all of our wages we currently have allocated. So we are going to have to move funds around a little bit. But we've picked up an incredible free agent here. Huge, huge pickup. I'm really happy with that. And, mate, Rafael Lopez could be a huge, huge part of us staying up this season. An 84-rated centre-back in like that. you love to see it. To go back a little bit on some of the other free agents, I've got some keepers that were scouting. I found a couple of defenders. A lot of these centre-backs I probably don't need to worry about too much now because we do still have Dickey, we have Dunn, we have Barbe, we have Device. We have got options. I'm going to have to sell at least one of those players, I think, especially if we're going to pick somebody else up. But we've kind of got five centre-backs in the club. 
and we only played two at the back. If I was running a three, five I think is a good number. Running a two, I think four is really the most you need to go for. Uh, but I think there's a couple of good options here. Goncalves look decent uh, and uh, not a bad little option as well. But we've got some good, good players to potentially look at. Duarte, I think, was another pretty good one. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to just clear off some of these players that we were looking at and uh, we're no longer going to be particularly interested in. Um, but yeah, a couple of midfielders as well. As you can see, we're going into some midfielders. Here. Sumare and Goez both look pretty good. Uh, Javi Simmons, I'm going to get rid of. I think we've signed Simmons in a previous career mode. And you know what? I'm going to say that if we're going to pick up uh, a DM that is uh, a purchase, I think we go for Masengo. A, he was suggested, and B, I think he was a very good suggestion in that as well. A couple of other players here that we were looking at before. Going to get rid of McCormick because we're not going to be picking him up. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just really, really happy with the options that we're giving ourselves here. I do think we're giving ourselves plenty of choices. Um, the only thing that we didn't find many of in our little free agent scouting and everything were any uh, good, good wingers. Uh, we found a lot of like centre mids and options like that. I didn't find any wingers. So depending on how some of those go, it could be that we potentially then have to go and sort of relook for some people. Uh, but we'll get rid of players like Balogun. We'll get rid of Ricky J. Jones. We'll get rid of Geldhart. Uh, we're going to take off Daryl DK as well, even though I do think Daryl DK, uh, or uh, I think it said DK, is, is a very, very good player. Uh, we'll get rid of Dane Scarlett. Uh, we'll get rid of Sekiri, uh, Siriki, sorry, Dembele. And we've got, again, we've got other options. Some of these scout, uh, strikers and stuff aren't being scouted, but as soon as the ones I am scouting have been scouted, I'll obviously show you guys those, and then we'll re-scout everyone on our transfer list that's still to be scouted. Okay, so Lopez is a left-footed centre-back, so I've put him in there ahead of Yoan Barbe. And I think what we'll probably end up doing is keeping Yoan as our bench option and then keeping hold of Jimmy Dunn. Uh, and then I think we're going to sell the vice. I think that's the way we're going to play this. Jimmy Dunn, obviously, that little bit younger uh, just is another option uh, and probably still has decent potential. The vice 27, so no spring chicken. I mean, I'm 27 this year, so kind of mugging myself off there a little bit. But we kind of just have to now hope that we can get some of these players or sold, uh, like sold and loaned out. Don't know if I've actually done that yet. So I'm going to go see if I have or haven't transfer listed players. Give me one sec. Okay, I've gone through everyone. I hadn't done it yet, but just to kind of run through them very quickly. Kelman and Vreg both loan listed. Bon transfer listed. Duke McKenna is joining uh, Austin FC um, on loan uh, when that comes around. Uh, I've also... I haven't I haven't loaned or transfer listed uh, George Thomas. I think I'm going to keep him as sort of squad rotation. Uh, like to fill up the, the reserves just a little bit. Just so we do have some options still. But Tatch is loan listed... Uh, we've also, uh, I think I transfer listed Gubbins, transferred, oh no, I didn't do anything to Bells. Again, I'm going to keep uh, Ben Wells as a, like, fill in the club a little bit. Transfer listed Masterson, transfer listed Device, and I've also transfer listed Wallace and Archer. So, a little bit of uh, getting rid of a few of the old guard, but hopefully, hopefully, we'll get some decent money. Just a little bit, you know, just a little bit of money in to kind of tick a few boxes for signings. Interesting to know. I always find this quite interesting. We got given an extra £36 million pounds this year because of, like, the money that we had. So, realistically, they were going to give me £4 million pounds, um, if I didn't make big profits last year. Good. Okay, first game of our preseason. I'm going to go with, basically, our strongest 11. Dykes is away on international, so Charlie's going to start today as well. Just to get some, uh, like, some minutes into the main squad, and then I'll rotate as the tournament goes on. But we do actually get a two-on win. Isaac Coles with two. Lovely stuff. Coles is going to need a big season this season. I think it's going to be a very important season for him, uh, for us, sorry, if he plays well or not. We, we really need him to step up this year. Okay, game number two up against Galatasaray. A very tricky game, but you can see we've rotated almost everyone. Uh, it's just Dieng, Hamer, and Campbell that stay in. Uh, and that's just because of numbers. Uh, again, it's kind of why we need another left back. It's kind of why we need another striker. Just a couple of little things for, for more options to rotate. We do lose 3-0. To be fair, I do expect to lose a game like that. Uh, maybe not 3-0, but I do expect to lose against a team like Galatasaray. Our team's not quite at that point yet, but that's what this season's about. I was trying to get to that point of being ready for the main league. Uh, a transfer offer in here for Macaulay Bon, uh, 1.15. I think that's a very good offer. Um, I'm going to just, again, just to see if we can get a little bit more. I'll, I'll say that I'm happy with 1.15 as a minimum, but you never know. See if we can get a little bit more, but uh, Bon potentially on his way out. Uh, okay, so New York actually said no to Bon, but we have had another offer in that I'm going to just say yes to 1.15. There were few men that I asked for 1.35. I didn't think it was that different, but apparently it is. You can see also here an offer for Willock, 4.2 mil. Do one, Norwich. Literally do one. 
Another little bit of rotation here as we come up against um, Royal Antwerp, a Belgian team, I'm fairly sure, if my brain serves me correctly. Again, bit of rotation, but a bit more back to normal strength team here. Uh, and it's a 2-1 loss, so we are going to go out. They did score 9, Golan and Frey. Austin got a goal, but he missed a penalty early on as well, which is a shame. We do go out in the uh, preseason tournament. We will get a little bit of money for that. It's not the end of the world. It's just getting a few minutes into players a little bit um, and hopefully getting some players a chance to maybe try and, like, bring in a team for moves. But we get a million pounds from that. Not much, but it is what it is. Okay, uh, two little bits of information here. Bon has been sold. 1.15, we get 825,000 of that. So he's gone off to... Uh, Defensa, I think it's in Argentina, but I might be wrong. And then an offer here for Jordi Device to Genoa. Interesting, very interesting indeed. Whether I've learned my lesson or not here and asking for a little bit more money, we'll find out. 2.45 with 2.1 as a minimum. We'll take that, we'll take that. Um, and I don't know if you guys saw as well, but here, very good uh, like information here. Very, very good for us. Willock's confirmed now to be a right midfielder, which is great news. He stays at 73, which is a small shame, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to just buff that passing, buff the shooting. That's the main thing here. I think he's quick enough. Let's get that wide play uh, playmaker on him. Let's get that passing and everything up there. Other thing I noticed there is he's got a year, as have most of the team. Oh, God. Well, I'm going to sort this out. I'll be right back. Okay, contract sorted. I uh, basically extended everyone who I plan on keeping and got rid of everyone or just haven't extended contracts of all the other people that won't be staying. Uh, but you can see we still have a good chunk of money. We've got 33 mil with 127,000 in budget. I did move things around a little bit. You can see we're actually in the profit, uh, which is very, very good to see. So we are making uh, a good little bit of profit right now, which helps. But I'm now going to change the lineup. Let's get this into the 4-4-2 we're going to be running this year. Let's go. Okay, so this is now what we're going to be playing for this season. We are going to try and run in a 4-4-2. I've got the fullbacks on stay back. I've got the wingers on stay wide and getting behind. The strikers are stay forward, getting behind, make those runs. DMs are covering that center, staying back as well. And I'm going to try and encourage runs more often. So I've got it on like forward runs, or whatever you call it. I can't think what you call it now. But yeah, forward runs. So I'm going to try this out. I don't use this online. But I'm going to try this and see if it encourages players to move that bit further forward and encourage those wingers to make runs. Because it's something that was noticed and commented in the last comment section that maybe I wasn't encouraging enough runs forward. Maybe that will also help it. If I don't like it, then I'll change it to something a bit more familiar to and do the like manual request runs. We'll try it out. I lose nothing by trying, apart from maybe, you know, a match or two. Okay, so we've heard back from a lot of the uh, players that we did scout, a lot of these youngsters uh, in the free agent pool and as you can see here a couple of decent players a couple of decent options straight off the bat here you've got ourselves Serrano and we have Chatelain or Chatelain I don't know how to say that but we've got him as an option as well not too shabby not too bad um, I think what we're going to do is I think I'm going to go in for Serrano uh, and see if we can get him just as a you know a young rotation option for like cup games and stuff and maybe get Walsh out on loan We'll try it. I'm going to see. It looks like he's on low wages. I lose nothing for trying. Very happy with that contract. That is what he's approached us with. 1.6 grand a week. A very low signing on bonus. And 15 appearances. I don't know if we're going to get 15 cup games. If Senny gets an injury, obviously he's going to come into that and play a little bit more often. But you know what? I'm all about that. So that's our second signing. It's another free agent. But I'm not upset with that. Serrano comes in as a rotation option for a goalkeeper. Not 100% sure on the trim, um, but, you know, that's just me. I don't think it would suit me, basically. You can see a couple of options here were already picked up. So Chris McCourt, great name, by the way, has been picked up by Fortaleza. So he has already gone, no longer an option. Uh, and then you've got Miguel Consecio. I don't know how you say it. He's gone as well. He's gone off to France, to Troyes. Uh, Duarte is still an option. I have picked up a free agent centre-back, and obviously it was a very good one. I think I'm going to hold off on doing anything like this. I don't want to go for too many free agents and it become that I've kind of like just cheesed it into it too much. If I hadn't already picked up our first free agent centre-back, I'd have gone and picked up Duarte without hesitation. I want to keep it with the, the fact that we saw that 84 and it's like that was a huge thing that we couldn't miss. This would also be a great signing, but let's see how other things play out first. Because again, I don't want to go and pick up loads in the same position because I'll just be mugging myself off. Uh, but yeah, let's go and get these other players scouted now. Uh, so that's now the plan. I'm going to get these guys scouted. I really like, I don't think this is always a thing that you could start scouting from there. I'm fairly sure that wasn't a thing forever. If it was, then I just obviously missed it. Uh, but yeah, I'll get the rest of these guys scouted. Um, and obviously then we'll hear back from those when they've been scouted. Can now confirm that Jordi Device has gone. He has left and gone to Genoa, 2.1 mil. So good luck playing over in Italy, my dude. You know what? Jordi Device with the... the 
beast of a man that he is, I don't think it matters what division he's going to be in. He's just, he's just a machine, mate. He is just a machine. We get another 1.5 mil, though, so that's decent. Okay, we've had a few offers in for some players that I'm not interested in selling. First of all, Lyndon Dykes isn't going anywhere, especially not at the moment. He might end up being rotation this season if we end up picking up another striker that's going to come in and potentially replace him. But the job he did for us last season, we can't just be selling Lyndon like that. So we're going to reject Lyndon's offers. Uh, he's going nowhere. So Burnley, although he is possibly the most Burnley striker I can think of, uh, and uh, Valiadoid, I can't remember who it was. Yeah, Valiadoid. Um, it's a no from me. Uh, £64 million as an offer here from Southampton for Isaac Coles. I can apparently ask for up to 92 uh, but I'm going to say sod and you, and we're keeping hold of Isaac Coles, mate. He is QPR through and through. Also had an offer here from Antwerp, who we did play for Tyrese Campbell. Offered us 16.9. It's another no from me. Tyrese is, isn't going anywhere this season. Uh, we've also heard back from our scout report here. Uh, we'll just see if anyone particularly stands out. Uh, Joel Slater looks half decent. We might potentially go in for Joel Slater. Noah Dunn looks fantastic, so we'll definitely get Noah Dunn signed up. 100%. Zachary Abbott is a fantastic name. Um, I'm kind of tempted. I'm kind of tempted with Joel Slater. I'm going to give these three another month. Jordan, Will uh, Jordan Willis looks okay, but doesn't look particularly incredible standout. But we'll give him another scout another month and uh, see how it goes. Uh, we'll have a quick little look-see. Uh, so Noah Dunn, he is a CDM, 76 to 94. It's a real shame he's 15 and 42 rated. Not ideal. He's only got 23 defense. I feel like you'll be a much better centre mid. So we're going to convert to that. Do you know what? Apparently not happy enough with just one QPR centre back. They want another. They want Yoan Barbe. This one is going to be a no from me. I'd like to keep hold of Yoan Barbe this season. He's going to be rotation. He's not going to be our main choice, obviously, but... I'd like to keep hold of him. Him and Jimmy Dunn, I think, will be two like good players to sort of have in the mix. Okay, we've just got to our first match day, and our first game is actually taking the mix. But we'll get to that in a second. First of all, I forgot to look at the teams who got relegated. It's something I love doing. When I'm doing a, a, like a career mode in the English leagues, I love looking at the teams that went down and seeing who would be available. The teams who went down were Brentford, Brighton, and Norwich. Brighton have got some absolute gem players that we can try and potentially pick up because they could be a little bit on the cheaper because they're players that wouldn't be playing in the championship. I think Tariq Lamptey has proven that he's good enough to play in the Prem. And so I'm considering trying to pick him up. We can see all of the Brighton players that I have gone in for. Let me just show you very, very quickly. So we've got Alzate, who I'm scouting. We've got Lamptey, Bissouma. We've got Malumbi. We've got Mwepu. And we've got Trossard and then Ihanacho. So some very, very good options, I think, there. Uh, Norwich, we've got Dowell, we've got Davies, we've got Rashica. Uh, we've also heard back, by the way, from uh, Mambini, or Mambimbi, sorry. I'm saying it wrong every time I go to say it. And Mambimbi, so he's 69 rated. It's not overly high rated. It's a good option, though. It's it's one higher than Charlie Austin. So, uh, obviously, he's quite a bit younger as well. So, it would potentially be a good rotation option. But I'm going to wait to hear back from these uh, championship teams first and see what the deal is there. And Masengo as well has come back. And Masengo, I actually think, is a very, very good rating. The only thing I'm thinking is, is it worth picking up Masengo knowing that he's no higher rated than who we've currently got? I think we should go for it. I think I might do before this episode is up. I think we will pick up Masengo. And I think he will be, long slash short term, the replacement for Johansson. He's not going to be the captain, but... I think he's going to do a very good job uh, and I think he'll fit the system we're going to run this season. So I think we're going to go in for Masengo. I'm going to probably do that now and I might put him on the bench for the first game of the season, which I still can't believe we're playing who we're playing against, but we'll get to that in a second. Okay, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to go on a little bit of a low ball offer. We're going to go 3.5. We're going to go 3.5. The current value is 3.4. They've said with 4%. I'm going to remove it and I'm going to submit it again. I'm sticking to my guns. 3.6. Absolute steal, boys. Absolute steal. 3.6 is a fantastic price to be picking them up for. I am all about that. That honestly went so much better than I expected. Let's get that contract sorted. Okay, this is the initial contract I'm going to offer. 15 and a half grand a week. 145,000 in signing on bonuses. And he's all about it. Masengo, mate. Welcome to the club. I can't believe. I cannot believe. The price we picked him up for. I was expecting him to be about six or so. The fact we've picked him up for for 
is a steal. I'm all about it. That's a hell of a pickup. I'm chuffed, boys. As far as first games of the season go, I think this is about as hard as it gets, boys. I don't think it will get any easier than this. Look at that squad. They've picked up Mbappé at right back as well. They've got Herrera in, which is a bit of a weird one. Ben Yedda on the right and then Torres in the middle. Just swap them, maybe. Pep, I know you're all about, you know, making a point, but this is the squad we're going with. This is the squad we're up against. And I I'm going to be honest with you, I think we've got to put it on Legendary. I know it's just going to be incredibly hard, but I just feel like, especially against the big, big teams, it probably should be on Legendary. I I'm ready to get battered here. And if it proves to be that the Karimo becomes not as enjoyable because I'm just losing every single game, then we'll knock it back down to world class. But I'm going to back myself here. We're going to go on Legendary. Fingers crossed. I haven't made a mug of myself here. But here we go. QPR boys back in the Prem. Back where I'd love to see is. And I think we've got a good chance this season. This season, I think we've got a chance of doing it. I think we can make it back into the Premier League. And it's going to start as hard as it can possibly get. Up against Man City. Away at Man City. But the boys walking out and I'm... I'm, I'm not going to say I'm confident, but I am excited. I'm very, very excited. I think we made some great pickups. I think the players we brought in fit the team really, really well. A big, big centre-back was something we desperately needed. Uh, a good little bit of rotation at the DM option. A striker potentially on the way. I'm confident, boys. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm confident is maybe the right word. I'm looking forward to it, boys. Let's just go. Let's have fun. First game of the season. It's up against City. There's no expectations. Just enjoy it. Oh, great tackle there. From our new man at the back, Mr. Lopez himself. Lovely, lovely tackle. Johansson there had to turn De Bruyne and has done so pretty well. But the pass there from Coles was a little bit loose. And now this is a problem. Ferran Torres. We see De Bruyne running through. But Torres doesn't play it to him. He plays it out to Yedda. Hamer comes across really well. Lowest rated player on the squad, by the way. And does make a very, very good tackle. Go on, mate. Oh, Ozzy hasn't won that one. And it is now through for Raheem to try and cross it in there. Lopez taking absolutely no nonsense. Really good clearance. That, by the way, looked like a handball. Definitely looked like it hit Ozzy's hand, but we move. Oh, that's a good effort. Seni Dieng with a fantastic save. De Bruyne just unleashing a shot from quite a ways out. And it was a good effort, but Seni with his first thing to do in the Prem, and he's done it very, very well. It has forced the corner, which they have played short. Edge of the box now. They're just going to take their time. They've worked it into the box. I'm not sure who that is. I can't really see. They've got it to Herrera now. Herrera, lovely turn. Well done. Well done, defence. Get it out, Hamer. Good lad. Oh, lovely pass there from Johansson. Willock now. Make that run. Lovely stuff. Cancelo's not slow, so Willock's going to have to come inside. I've tried to play it to Tyrese. It wasn't maybe the best option, but Tyrese kind of just stood behind Herrera, so the option wasn't really there anyway. But I have to say, 25, 26 minutes gone. We've not had loads of the ball, but we've defended pretty well. I say that as Yedda is just storming through now. Hamer's going to have to try and get back there. Can't. It's not the best cross from Yedda. But, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with how we've defended, boys. I think we've done all right so far. Aussie on the ball. Going to play it to Willock now. Willock sees Lyndon Dykes. Dykes, oh, I wanted to play that through to Campbell. I think he was just off, so I think it would have been uh, offside anyway. But that's so unlucky. We're, we're, we're looking like we can maybe offer something, but we haven't really tested anything yet. Johansson. Lovely tackle there. And now Linden has a chance to bring this away. Sets away Tyrese. Babu's just going to get there first. But it's not a very good touch from him. And it gives Tyrese Campbell a chance to win that. Wait for the overlaps here from Cole. Overlap, lovely. Into Tyrese. Tyrese plays it across to Willock. He's going to shoot. It's a good shot. It's our first chance of the game. It's not a bad one. A little bit of play. We got a little bit lucky with the ball going where it did the first time. But we get the shot away with Chrissy Willock in the end. Going to whip this ball in there. It's a good header. It is over the, over the goal. But that means that we've technically now had more chances and more shots than Man City this game. Two to one. We're doing okay. We're holding our own, boys. Let's just, just stick with it. Resilience. That's what we need to have. We played that forward very nicely. It's a good shot again from De Bruyne. Hearing that I said that we were out shooting them. So far, the only shots they've had have been those crazy long-range efforts. I say crazy. They've been good efforts. Guardiola and Stefan having a little chat there. But it's a lovely, lovely effort. And again, a lovely save. Well matched save from Seni Dieng. Amos gets the first cross in away. Can we win that? Oh, it's not quite Johansson's chance to win that there. That's a lovely bit of play. And Babu in space. He's going to cut inside. Oh, it's a good effort there. But Rob Dickey 
steps in the way of it well, does get help us get rid of it. And boys, I have to say, at half time, if you'd said I could be nil-nil against Man City on Legendary, I'd take it. I'd absolutely take it. I think we've played well. I don't think we've been that bad. We've been a little bit quiet. We haven't exactly been, like, the best, but we haven't been terrible. We've defended pretty darn well. If we can just get a few more chances, you can see we haven't had much possession. We've got the higher goal expectancy, which is mental. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Uh, but we are going to make a change here, and it is going to be Johansson off, Masengo on. We're going to bring on Masengo uh, and give him a chance to try and offer something in the middle of the park here. It does say he's on a minus one. It's because he's a CDM. Uh, I need to convert both Amos and Masengo into centre mids. Masengo's... Uh, and Amos can both apparently play centre mid, but neither of them are apparently in position. And I don't want to play the 4-4-2 with DMs. I just find that your strikers are so isolated when you do that. But have to say, knock on wood, decent first half, boys. Very decent first half. More of the same, hopefully. And who knows? Maybe, just maybe, we can steal something here. Let's go for it. Masengo with his first touch on the ball here. Going to play a switch pass. Lovely pass there to Chris Willock. Lovely first little bit of play from Masengo in a QPR kit. And Willis just going to cut inside. Look at the chance here to play it to Coles. Coles into Masengo. Or oh, Masengo. Imagine he had a shot in his first chance as well. Chris Willett with another chance. It is blocked by Diaz. Uh, but again, we're finding the spaces. The little switches to play. The wingers getting that bit of play. I kept them on stay wide. Because that's exactly what I want them to do. Stay in those little pockets. When I've got the ball in the middle of the park. Keep them out wide. Stay in the pockets. Find the space. Sterling. Oh, it's played inside. Seni Dieng. Lovely save. Good effort there from Ferran Torres. Man City starting to come into it a little bit here. Getting chances now. But Ferran Torres with an easy, easy bit of space to find there. And had the shot. Herrera off. Bruno. Uh, Bruno? Bruno Silva. Bernardo Silva making his way on now. So we've got to be careful. Another creative, very good attacking player on the pitch. Thankfully, the header goes over. 60 minutes nearly on the clock, I think. 60 minutes exactly on the clock there. It's still 0-0. We just need to... A little bit of patience. We need to work our way into this again a little bit because they have started to work themselves into it. And actually, one thing we are going to do here... Uh, he had a very good game. Chris Willock has been very, very good. But I'm going to bring on Ilias Chair in that right mid position uh, and just see if he can maybe come on a little bit of fresh legs and offer something similar. I know I've said before that I find that Chair does cut inside a little bit more. Maybe that will be something that offers a little something different Hopefully, though, the stay-wide instructions will keep him out there when I need him to. Uh, but, yeah, right now, we just need to try and pick ourselves up a little bit and play a little bit similar to how we were doing for stages of the first half because, at the moment, City are definitely working their way in. Oh, we've lost the ball in a really bad spot there. Really bad spot. Lopez, I've pulled him out of position. Hamer, going to close down De Bruyne. Hamer does really well. Hamer's had a really good game, I have to say. Hamer has really impressed me today. He stepped up to the plate when he's been needed. And he's been very, very good. And now Dickie needs to as well. Raheem Sterling with the shot. I just couldn't get a defender to the ball. I just couldn't select who I wanted to. Thankfully, Raheem's got into the side netting. And thankfully, we live to fight another day here. Uh, that looked like Veghorst. I think they've just brought on Veghorst uh, for Ferran Torres. They have a very different player. But they have been getting the ball wide and trying to play it in. Maybe now we're going to see crosses in instead. And if so, that's a big player to contend with. Hold on. Ilias Chair into Tyrese Campbell. Fires it over the bar. Boys, this has been a good game. There's been some end-to-end -end stuff. It was blocked. I didn't realise it got a touch there. Going to whip this in there. I don't know who that was who went for it. But Lyndon Dykes with the overhead kick. It's audacious. It's wide. But boys, we're doing okay. Somebody's down there holding their arm. I think they're up. I think they're okay. Lopez. Oh, that's not good. We do not need Lopez out for a period of time. Hamer again. Hamer has really impressed me. I know I said this beforehand, but Hamer has really, really impressed me so far. Been a little bit unfortunate there as Mbappé just got the ball over him. Bernardo Silva is back to him. Amos with a good block. Dickey's going to have to try and close this down, and he does so very well. Well done to Rob Dickey. We get that away now. Elias Chair maybe can start a bit of a counter here. He's right on this right-hand touchline. Plays it inside to Linden. Linden, good touch. Going to bring it forward. He's going to try and find Masengo. He does. He does find Masengo. He's going to have a pop from the edge of the box. It was maybe moving a little bit quicker than I thought it was there. Really good stuff. It's a good save there from uh, Edison. But Masengo, it's a decent effort. I thought it was a little bit tame. But Edison didn't feel confident catching that one. Had to, to palm it wide. And we are going to make a change here. And I think it's going to have to be for Lopez. I think it's going to have to be for Lopez. I can't run the risk of him getting injured long term. So Jan Barbe is going to make his way on. The Frenchman himself. 
uh, the warrior that is Johan Barbe uh, making his way onto the pitch now. But let's uh, let's see if we can get this ball in there. Isaac Coles with a good cross. Tyrese wasn't going to quite get up there to win it, but Masengo is going to bring it down. He's going to play it back out to Coles, who is on the side. Masengo has also been fouled. Oh, is it Coles? Couldn't quite get the ball to Linden there. But now Tyrese Campbell. It's dropped to him. Tyrese going to try and set away Coles, and Babby's going to win that. It's unfortunate. Five minutes to go, boys, and we're, we're picking up again. Oh, this isn't good. Barbe's going to have to be the man to go out there. Hamer's going to cover in the middle now, but Johan Barbe has come, come back and been helped by Isaac Coles. Barbe again. Lovely tackle from Johan Barbe, and he sets away Coles, but it's going to go to Tyrese because Tyrese can get there first. This could be one of, if not the last chances of the game here. Tyrese Campbell just lost it. I've just lost it, and that means the last chance of the game is probably going to go City's way instead here. Got to be careful. Got to be careful. Veghorst on the ball. Plays it back and out wide. Look at the clock, ref. Look at the clock. They've gone backwards. And boys, we have definitely deserved a point there today. We have very much stood up to and faced the opposition that was Man City. And I have to say, I think we've been very impressive. I think we've got a lot to offer. I think the new formation's working really well. That 4-4-2, I think, is going to suit how I like to play. But also it's going to give us good chances. The boys can hold their heads up today. The boys can be proud of themselves because that was a very, very impressive start to the season. Very, very good stuff. Good new signings in. Potentially another one to come in through before we finish today's episode. And boys, I have to say, I think we did well. I think we stood up to it today. A few more passes to maybe help us out with possession at times. And I think we're looking good. Okay, some good news. Some very good news. Only five days that Lopez is out for. So that is very, very good to hear that it's only five days. Uh, the youngster done, his position is now confirmed as a centre mid, and he's gone up 10. So he's now at 52 rated, which is pretty decent, pretty darn decent. Uh, what I need to do is just set him to a, a half decent little, um, we'll put him on that. I think that works quite well, putting him on a box to box. Uh, something I didn't do, by the way, is call up El Basir. I said at the end of last season, that's what I was going to do. So we're going to call up El Basir, uh, promote him. And we'll also promote Naji or Naji, however you say it, get him promoted too. And uh, potentially loan both of them out. Linden, by the way, still not going anywhere. Stop trying to buy him. Okay, so we haven't heard back yet from the championship team. So from the, uh, the Norwich players and the Brighton players. And I would like to hold off signing a striker and any other potential options until we hear back from them. I just think it makes the most sense for us because I think it keeps our options open. Still got a fullback to try and bring in. Still definitely need a striker. Outside of that, I think this squad is going to be very, very good. I'm very, very happy with what we're doing so far. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit pause here and we'll come back to it starting the next game up against Crystal Palace. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's episode. If you have, then please do hit that like button. Supports me, the video, the channel out a whole bunch. It really does help. So thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who does hit that sub button. And again, leave a like if you enjoyed today's episode. If you want to catch us on our streams, make sure you go check out uh, Hursty Games over on Twitch. There is a link in the description if you want to catch us on our live streams. We stream three to five days a week over there. But for now, guys, I want to say thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome. And I will see you soon. Look after yourselves. And of course, wash your hands. What? In a bit. Now his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, or say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty games, yeah, you already know.